The menorah is an iconic ancient Jewish symbol. Pure gold and in the likeness of an almond tree, the lampstand's first appearance in scripture is in the tabernacle, the portable temple the Israelites traveled with after they left Egypt, older even than the Star of David. The menorah's seven branches symbolize the seven days of creation and embody the Jewish mission to be a light unto the nations. From the temples and the miracle of the oil, to the Arch of Titus and the Vatican's basement, the seven-branched candelabra has quite the peculiar legacy. Now the emblem of the modern state of Israel, the lampstand remains a powerful symbol of Jewish identity. There's just one question, where is it? What happened to this religious vessel, and why do some people believe the Vatican is hiding it? Moses' menorah moved into King Solomon's temple sometime between 967 and 961 BCE, where it stayed for almost 400 years. Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar II looted the temple when he destroyed Jerusalem in 586 BCE, and the menorah disappeared. Some say it's awaiting discovery in Jerusalem, but it was most likely melted down for gold. A new lampstand was placed in the second temple in 438 BCE, where the high priest ensured the flames flickered 24-7. That is, until the Seleucid Empire desecrated the temple during the Maccabean Revolt, and the menorah was stolen once again. Following the Maccabees' victory against the Seleucids, they used a temporary iron menorah to rededicate the temple before a new gold menorah could be made. Tradition has it that a one-day supply of olive oil lasted the lamp for eight nights. And while it's impossible to fact-check that miracle, we can try putting one of the greatest menorah conspiracy theories to the test. Straight out of the Da Vinci Code, it's a fascinating theory. To understand the greatest menorah myth, we have to revisit one of the saddest days in Jewish history. During the climax of the Siege of Jerusalem in 70 CE, the Roman army ransacked Jerusalem and the Second Temple, a scene immortalized on the Arch of Titus. Soldiers delivered loads of stolen Jewish treasures to Rome, the priceless menorah chief among them. Flavius Josephus, a first century Jewish historian, witnessed the triumphal victory march and recorded the spoils of war housed in Rome's Temple of Peace. According to Jewish tradition, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was the second eyewitness to place the menorah in Rome. The Temple of Peace burned down over a century later in 192 CE, and that's when the theories kick into overdrive. One medieval legend claims that before the Temple of Peace was destroyed, Roman Jews snatched the menorah and buried it at the bottom of the Tiber River. Other theories suggest that the menorah somehow survived the Temple of Peace. One has it that the Visigoths stole it when they sacked Rome in 410 CE. According to the ancient historian Procopius of Caesarea, it was buried with their king Alaric. An intriguing theory, but not what most historians believe to be the case. Cue the 455 sacking of Rome. According to Byzantine historian Theophanes the Confessor, decades after the Visigoths trashed Rome, the Vandals looted the menorah from a church and brought it to Carthage in North Africa. Before long, in 534 CE, the Byzantine army joined this hot potato menorah game and stole the Jewish treasure from Carthage on the orders of Emperor Justinian in Constantinople. Here's where the history gets tricky. Procopius recorded that a Jewish man warned the emperor's advisor that the temple vessels were cursed because they were taken from Jerusalem. He had a point. Every city that housed the menorah was destroyed. Totally spooked, Justinian came up with a plan. He would move the menorah from the great palace of Constantinople and store it in the Nea church in Byzantine Jerusalem for all to see. Some historians believe the Nea church was built with the purpose of storing Jewish treasures, while others hold that Emperor Justinian was set on creating a temple grander than King Solomon's. Regardless, evidence to support the menorah's return to Jerusalem is scant, and the trail goes cold for almost 700 years. This takes us to the Vatican theory. Here's the deal. The 12th century Spanish Jewish traveler, Benjamin of Tudela, recorded in his diary that the Jews of Rome knew the menorah and other temple treasures were stored in a cave beneath the Roman church. Incredibly, a 1291 mosaic claimed the Vatican not only possessed the menorah, but the Ark of the Covenant, as well as two columns from the Second Temple. Over the past quarter century, Israel's religious authorities made numerous attempts to ask the Pope about the menorah's whereabouts. The Israel Antiquities Authority even sent a team to search the Vatican's storerooms and found zilch. But the theory lives on. It's never been disproven. And the other option just isn't as exciting, that at some point in the menorah's long history of getting pillaged, it was simply melted down into cold, hard gold. Perhaps one day, this ancient treasure could be rediscovered. Or maybe there's even a bit of it in that piece of gold jewelry you're wearing right now.